I still remember learning at school about crop rotation. One year you plant wheat, the next barley or some other crop, and, and the third the field would be left to lie fallow, and then the cycle would begin again. You could think that the mitzvah of Shemitah, the prohibition of working the fields in the seventh year, as some kind of holy crop rotation. But this just doesn't make sense. First, working a field for six straight years and then leaving it for one does nothing to improve its yield and may even damage it. Second, the Torah promises dire punishments for the non-observance of Shemitah. The 70 years of the Babylonian exile were a punishment for 70 unobserved Shemitah years during the 430 years that the Jewish people dwelled in the land of Israel. God always relates to us measure for measure. If Shemitah was a matter of crop husbandry, how is exile an appropriate punishment? And furthermore, 70 years of weeds and neglect isn't going to do anything for the land, so how is this punishment measure for measure? What causes a person to violate Shemitah in the first place? The great malaise of our own era is the compulsion to overwork. The workaholic defines himself by his job. When you meet someone socially, the question, what are you, is usually answered by, I'm a doctor, or I'm an accountant, or I'm a rabbi. There's a fundamental mistake here. What I do is not who I am. In our society, we've confused what we do with who we are. The underlying belief here is that the more I work, the more I become myself. Violation of the laws of Shemitah comes from the belief that the more I work, the more money I will make, and the more I make, the more I am the master of my own world. Exile removes all the familiar, comforting symbols of success from a person. I realize that what I do is not who I am. I realize that my survival, my very identity, are God-given gifts. The insecurity of exile brings a person face to face with his total dependence on God. It's from this perspective of exile that I can rebuild my worldview, so that I can see that who I am is an expression of God's love for me. And the only reason that I exist is to reflect the rays of his love.